bit fumes and i'm your host sarthak and this is a channel where i talk about laravel and the cool thing about laravel so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like bit fumes on facebook twitter and instagram so in this episode we are going to create the add new model and for that we have to go to burma so firstly burma.io and here go to docs then let's go to component we have this model and this model is simple but i don't need that i will need this one because we can fix or have many things inside this okay that's great copy this and let's go to sublime and let's close this and before going ahead Actually, whenever I refresh, I will fall back to the base URL. Then I have to click on home. I'm just going to comment this so that I will use the hashed URL. And it's now saving and successfully built because my npm run watch is already running. That's good. Okay. So if I go here, refresh and go to home, refresh and it will stay on this home. That's very nice. but let's go to sublime and we have copied the model so let's go to resources assets js component create a new file called let's say add dot view okay so this is good so template template is this model that's very nice and whenever i have to click on this add new i want this model to be comma okay that's very nice but how we will do that so in the burma there is no javascript system so you have to create opening and closing of the model by itself to open the model what you have to do you have to give this model a class of is active we have to include this in our app also so i will import this so let's give this and i will say add that's good and let's tell our app that we are using add component also so let's refresh it's not doing anything because we are not even using this app dot view so what we have to do we have to go to this phone book dot app and here i will say add and then simple thing great let's go and we have to give capital a for this great okay so go to chrome reload the page and you can see model is here but we cannot dismiss this model because we have to do all these things by itself okay so we have to go to our home dot view and actually i want to move that model inside this home dot view so i will again go to phonebook dot blade dot php cut this out from here let's use a div so this is div and move all these nav bar or nav system inside div why because we need only one element inside this template or component so paste that here and obviously as we are using this inside our home we need that component to be here so a script tag then I have say export default here and let's get that component here. So undo from here and cut this from here and go to home here and I will say here components same thing and that should be add great. So let's go and reload the page and it's having some kind of error what the error is let's see okay this error says that this component is not inside the subfolder of component because this home is already inside this component folder so if i want to add this so i have to remove this component folder okay that's good so it's successfully built you can see and now if i go to chrome reload the page yeah it's here but 
now if i go to about section you can see there is no model because we have used the model only for home dot view so that's why we only have model inside our home okay that's good but we cannot dismiss it we cannot even launch it so firstly what we have to do let's open add dot view and remove this is active class from here okay but what we need we need that whenever I click on add new button the modal come up but before that we have to create its add new event that's good so let's go add new and here I will say at click this mean on click we have to say open add this has to be a method so let's create that method here so I will say methods then here this method and this method going to give a class of is active so I will say this dot add active this is the data I'm just going to create is equal to is hyphen active that's good and let's give a data so I will say data and this data is going to return something and that should be curly braces then here I will say add and add active is initially false so or simply you can say empty so I will simply say empty not false okay so this is good so let's go to Chrome reload the page and it says some error yeah this error is because of which thing because of the semicolon we don't need the semicolon here okay that's good and if you have not installed view dev tool please install this because we are going to use this a lot okay so if i go to view dev tool i will have all these components so i am going to work on home so let's click here and you can see we have this data of add active which is empty but we have given that whenever I click on add new button it will go to open add method and open add method will going to give this string of is active now click on this add and let's click here once more and it says is active that means whenever I click add active data is getting this string is active but we have to pass this data of add active to our component of add in the view we are going to pass the data to a component via using props so let's say i'm having a prop called open model okay and this prop is now has to get the data of add active okay so let's open the add view and here we have to accept that uh, prop we have created so let's create a script export default we have to say, every time we have to say this so let's say here props and props is open model that's very nice save this go to chrome and reload the page and now if i click on this triangle black triangle we have add component inside the home component so home is having add active data which is empty add is having the props open model which is also empty so if i click on add yes it has the is active data and also this add active is having the is active data so just have to do one thing we have to bind the class actually we have to give the class of model open model okay so whatever the string we are getting in this prop we are passing this to here so if I go reload the page let's click on add new and yes we have the model correctly launched so congratulations but if I click on this cancel or the cross button it's not going out so let's create that so firstly we have to say at click I have to say close okay 
so this is same thing for this close button also oops so at click i will say close okay so let's create this method so i will say methods close and this method is going to emit an event so emit and close request okay so reload the page and if i click on add new model is launched but if i click on the cancel you can see this event is here close request similarly if i click this cross close request again so we have to catch this event how we will catch that go to home dot view here we have to say whenever there is a close request go to close method this close method is for home dot view and this close method is for add dot view so don't be confused okay here i will say close and simply this dot add active is nothing great let's go reload the page add new that's great model is here let's click on this cancel and yes model is dismissed again on the cross model is dismissed so this way we have seen that how we can launch or dismiss the model just by using the view js and in the next episode we are actually going to use the laravel to get the data and we are going to use the uh, text boxes here so that we can add some data here and give it to laravel so that it can store it on the database so we will meet in the next episode so don't forget to subscribe like bit films on facebook twitter and instagram share these video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of these things and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye